and welcome to vlogmas day three uh this morning i didn't do a whole ton that can be shown on camera i was just getting my mind together and organizing stuff for the rest of the day and now i need to clean the bathroom but also i want to talk about how i tripled my growth on youtube this year which is wild because at the beginning of this year i was around 60 subscribers and now i'm about to hit 400 and it's like ah! Uh, so I want to talk about that later. So let's go. How you do? It's your boy Dump Six Touch Me. Hopefully, uh, Kundi puts this in the edit, but uh, I hope you're enjoying these vlogmases. We're going to be posting every day for the next two months. Ah. All right, so I will see On his you channel. guys in the next uh, vlogmas. Hopefully, maybe. Probably not, but yeah, peace. So, sorry for the echo, but I was watching Cleaning YouTube yesterday and they said that if you put toilet cleaner that has bleach in it on your uh, screen, your shower screen, that you can get all the muck off. I don't know if that's true, but at this point I'm willing to try anything, but I don't have toilet cleaner with bleach, so I'm just going to use toilet cleaner and bleach. And I need to make sure the windows are open because it's starting to fume in here, but Time to work on the shower. really really well all of this stuff that you see here is on the other side so I need to clean the other side of these screens and then now I'm scrubbing the walls I've done this wall there's some water stains I can't get off down there um, and I need to do this one as you can see it is much dirtier so that's where I'm at now rise uh, before I can put more stuff back in there let's talk a little bit about this channel and why I think it's grown so much in the past really the past month or so um, and I'm also going to disinfect all the stuff that I took into the bathroom because bathroom germs are gross at the beginning of this year like I said I started out with around 67 subscribers and I had been posting consistently for about three months uh, I had done a vlog series and I did vlogmas um, but other than that, I didn't have a whole ton of videos on the channel. I was maybe at like 30 videos. And when I looked at my analytics, I really thought that there must have been, must have been like a really huge spike. And there was a little bit of a spike in the past month. But if you look at the graph, I mostly just grew steadily over the past year. So it was like two subscribers here, five there, and I'd lose a couple, and then I'd gain three, and then I'd lose a couple. And it was really a gradual process. So I guess 
when people say that consistency is really important on YouTube, there's a reason for that. There are a couple different videos I did that I think helped people become interested in my channel. So the first one, I did a global collab with a bunch of different YouTubers from around the world on our lives during the coronavirus period. So every week we would post a video that we were all in and it would go up on different people's channels. So if you wanted to follow the series, you had to visit all the different channels and that helped grow for I think all of us because it just introduced us to a new audience. So that's the first set of videos that I think made a difference on my channel. And then the second one is a food video that I did. I thought it'd be fun to film the process of recreating a well, like one of my favorite things to order at this restaurant here. It's not fancy at all. It's just fries with paprika and salt, but it just, uh, it's just one of my favorite things. So I filmed a video of that and it was a vertical video. And this was before Reels. TikTok was, I mean, TikTok's been around, but TikTok was popping off. There's in the middle of quarantine, but um, I decided to post it to YouTube as well as TikTok. And it did really, it did really okay. Uh, the first week or so when I was in shock, it was like at 200, 300 views. I was like, oh my gosh, how? Um, and over time, especially once YouTube released, officially released shorts, which are just short vertical videos, um, that, that video just kept getting picked up and picked up and picked up and picked up and picked up. And now it's at 100,000 views or something like that. It's ridiculous. Um, and then I did two more videos like that and they were all linked to each other so they bumped up traffic for each other. And then the last video that I think made a big difference is I started doing just sitting down talking videos about, the first ones were about uh, Africa and short term missions. The second set was as well, but it's about main character syndrome and between those two sets of videos a lot of new people who had never heard of my channel joined which was really exciting i think that those those three occurrences were the main reasons why my channel grew was just being timely and posting consistently and then one i think one of my favorite videos that i've done this year is the taylor swift set of videos there are three videos and i posted my predictions to what the folklore album was going to be on and then I posted my reaction to the folklore, folklore album and because that was such big news for like 72 hours those videos did really well for my channel so again being timely but also being in a place where I was posting consistently I'm still working on building a community of people on Red Ink uh, that's my next big goal but it's really exciting to see people interacting with my content, enjoying it. So thank you so much. I'm going to finish disinfecting this and then I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of times we think we need a really big change, but sometimes we need just a small one. So for me, that looks like making an effort to go work at a coffee shop or working outside or working downstairs and sometimes that's enough to help my mind get over that block of like I've been in the same place I can't do this anymore I can't do this just try it's not a long-term solution but try switching up your schedule a little bit to see if that will help you as you feel that antsiness and try to get rid of some of that energy It is 7.35, the floor is finally dry, so I'm going to go and put stuff back. Whoop, I'm shaking so much. I'm going to go and put stuff back where it needs to go. I thought I would do a whole lot more today, but some days you just need to do one thing. And sometimes that one thing is very exhausting. Uh, so I'm going to do that, take a shower, and just chill for the rest of the day.
for tuning in to today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.